All right, guys, welcome to another segment of Trey Finds Texas. I'm Trey Bodwin, and today we have a special treat for you. We are at 10310 Moreberry Lane. This property has four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, over 3,300 square feet of space. Now I'm standing right here in the foyer area of this beautiful home. And one of the great things that I think is grand about it are these double doors with your glass and raw iron combination. Check a, take a look at this. This is a matte black finish on the door and each one has glass with a dark tint so you get a little bit of privacy and you also have this rustic but medieval luxury feel of the raw iron design in between each door panel. So this is a good look and a good design by the builder. This is a new construction home, so we're gonna be pointing out some of the great things that come along with the new construction. One of which that I'd like to start with is, is this beautiful dining area. Take a look at this. This dining room is a fairly large room. And when you think about dining rooms and the usage, they are great for entertaining, of course, but then they're also good for flex spaces. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of different things, especially since the uh, 2020 year with a dining room. They've been able to convert it into playrooms for the kids. They've been able to uh, use it as yoga rooms or just extra lounge spaces that when they have guests and entertain, uh, they want to do that. So uh, this is a great spot. Of course, natural light coming in from the windows. We always like to point that out. Very large windows, uh, and you'll see that it goes on to the landscape here that we'll touch on next. Let's check out the other side of this foyer area. Now, as I come back into the foyer, you'll be able to look up and see a grand entry greeted by a light that is extremely cool. You'll have a rope design with the raw iron that matches on the door, and boy, does it look good. It's a really nice touch and a luxury feature. And as we step in this way, you'll see that we are greeted by the double door office. Now, many homes today have been, as we mentioned before, new construction homes have taken into account that people are working from home. This house has it all. It has the office, extremely spacious. And I wanna point out a couple of things to you. Besides the window over here, bringing in some natural light, look at this, closet space for the office. I've seen a lot of uh, commercial builders that do the office, but they skip out on the closet space. Guys, this is an important factor here and is great for storage uh, in any office, man cave, woman cave, whatever you decide. So let's go check out the rest of the home. All right, guys, so right now I am standing on the north point of the foyer area, which leads on to one of my favorite parts about this home. This is the wet bar area, guys. This is the coolest thing that we've been able to see so far uh, in this channel. I love having a wet bar in a home because it speaks to a few things. Whether you want to entertain yourself or others, it's just a great amenity to have in a house. And you'll see that you'll have a uh, white marble countertop here with a lot of the gray design in it that looks great, very modern, matching on the gray, uh, going across into the sink area. And let me step around so you can get an idea of this space. So you have two entries to this bar, which I think is just great. You know, if you have a catering company that's coming by, helping you out with entertaining, they can kind of function out of this space. Or if you wanna come off the kitchen area, you'll be able to check that out as well. A nice, great amenity to have once again. And come check a, take a look at this. I love this wooden design, built-in cabinetry and wine racks making an upside down L shape here that is completely incognito to the outside of the bar. I think this is great because, you know, if you want to have a selection and you are into collecting different wines and spirits, uh, this gives you plenty of space. You have another wine bar cooler down here and extra storage drawers and of course cabinetry. Nice touch and a beautiful design by the builder. All right, guys, now as we come this way, right behind you, you'll see the mudroom area, which is just right off the garage. That mudroom is another 
popular item that we're seeing in a lot of new constructions here in the Houston and Dallas markets. Uh, if you have kids, it's great to put your backpacks in storage. Uh, if you just want to use it for another place to lounge, sit down and read, that's another great area too. And just off of it is the garage. Uh, that's a full two car garage, private area. And it is a nice treat to have during these Houston hot summer months. And guys, we have a little bit of landscaping taking place outside. So if you hear a little bit of the background noise, forgive me, I do want to mention that. Now let's take a look at this kitchen. A great design starts with an open concept and this builder has done it. Kudos to the builder and kudos to the listing agent of this property for highlighting this because guys, look at this large countertop, enough area to fit, I would say at least four bar stools. And then you're greeted by a double stainless steel sink, nice faucet to complement, And it just kind of flows. It flows all the way over here into the rest of the kitchen. So you have a five burning stove top right here, stainless steel, and you have the ventilation hood up top. Nice, complimentary, and a great standard. Uh, like the backsplash, I love it. It's clean, it's white, it matches on the countertops. It is a good look. And you have windows on each side of this stove top, just so you can get a little bit more extra light. It wouldn't be a Trey Fines Texas mention if I didn't point out the under cabinet lighting. You guys know if you've seen some of my previous videos, I think that's a plus. Uh, there's times where, you know, it's evening time, it's dark outside, and you don't want to light the entire place up, but you just want a little bit of light. And this is a great touch. It really is. Leading over to your pantry uh, to the right of you, and you'll see that uh, it's plenty of space. Great, great feature. Now, before I turn it back to the fridge, I do want to show you guys this grand feature window. Look at this. I mean, I can't even put size to this thing. It, it just looks great. It's a great feature window and it gives you a great look onto your beautiful and spacious backyard. Something that's rare to come across these days in a new construction home. A grand window, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably about six and a half to seven feet long and it's right at about five and a half feet tall. A great feature. You can have breakfast here, add a little nook to the area, or if you wanna add another dining table, this is great as well. Before we get to that patio, let's swing back over here to the kitchen. I wanna mention two things to you, one of which are your stainless steel appliances. Of course, you have room for your microwave. I believe that one is there for staging currently. And then you have a brand new Samsung fridge here. This is another complement to the other stainless appliances within this property. I think one of the best things that you can do about a new construction is add a stainless steel appliance to kind of give it this clean look in a modern feel. It's very timeless. Um, so with that being said, talking about timelessness, when I step into this living room, take a look at this timeless piece here. This right here is a grand lighting fixture. I love it and it's unique because you have the opportunity to entertain with great space and it combines with the LEDs that you see on the top of the ceiling. It's something that's not intrusive, but it says, hey, you're in a grand home and I believe at this price point, this is a great benefit for any buyer. Now, when I step over here towards the entertainment space, there's a lot of things that are going on, but it's just perfect. One of which is you already have your mounts, your pre-mounts for your television. You have a landscape fireplace here, and you also have built-ins on each side of this wall, so that way you can entertain while having a little bit of decoration skill here. You have opportunity and room to decorate. I think one of the great things I hear in feedback from a lot of our out-of-state buyers and buyers here in the Houston market is they love shelving, right? And when you have shelving that goes up this tall, I mean, from the floor, this thing has to be right at about uh, nine and a half, 10 feet. You will love that just with the opportunity to put your books up there, put different decorations, pictures, a lot of different cool things. You can kind of make the space your own. So it is a good look. And once again, great job by the design and the developer, uh, just making sure that this all came to fruition. All right, guys, now that we've wrapped up the living space, we're gonna touch on the primary bedroom here in a second. Before we do that, let's check out the upstairs.
Now, one of the awesome features that you'll get in this property, along with the space, along with the natural lighting, are the actual light fixtures. As you've seen over here, we have the grand entry lighting and it's just beautiful. Complemented by another feature window, very picturesque, I love it. And it just looks straight out onto the landscaping of the trees, very great job by the builder. It really brings life into the home. Another thing that I like about it is this hallway with the lantern lights. When you walk down the stairwell, you'll be greeted by one on each side. Very great design and another thing worthy of pointing. We love that this home has a ton of entertaining space downstairs. What I've realized is that there's great entertaining space upstairs as well. Check a, take a look at this. This right here, guys, is a media room slash game room slash movie room slash whatever you want it to be. This beautiful room sits just right off the stairwell, maybe about seven feet from the stairs. It's blocked off so you're not immediately greeted by the stairs and it's out the way. You get the sense that it is a private home and a private area where you can just kind of relax and unwind. It does have a ton of cabinet space and it also has a wet bar over here and space for a mini fridge. So if you're looking to entertain, make this a movie room, make this a game room, this is the spot. What a bargain and what a great design and feature for this home. This is perfect, perfect design uh, by the developer. Now. Let's take a look this way. On each side of us, we have a bedroom offset. On the west side, we have a couple of bedrooms and we have another bedroom on the east side. Now, before we actually dive into that east side, I wanna take you guys over here to show you how awesome the bedrooms are. They're extremely spacious and great in design. Take a look at this. This bedroom in particular, let me stand over here so you can take a look at it, very large large bedroom, nice and cozy, and you're greeted by one, one and two things, a walk-in closet that sits just right over here. Get some lights on for you. Ton of space, love the built-in shelves. And then when you turn this way, you'll see that you have your own private vanity. This leads to a Jack and Jill, which means that you have your sink, separate sink on the other side, but they share the wet room and the shower. So let's take a look at that. Nice little pantry here for towels and bathroom gear and a nice sliding door here for your stand-up shower. Nice, great design. And as you approach this side of the Jack and Jill, you'll see that there's another vanity here with adequate space and of course, drawers and cabinetry to top off. I really like the fact that they stay consistent with this countertop, bringing in some of that gray and white once again. I love it. And then you're led over here, right into the front of the property again on the second floor. This is bedroom number two or three, depending on which side you're starting from. Let's open up this closet so you can take a look at it. All right guys, now that we've checked out the restroom, let's go ahead and take a look at bedroom number two or bedroom number three, depending on what side of the home you're on. This is another great area, a great room and space, and man, the development of it is key. I think one of the beautiful things about it is when you step in and you see the closet angled off in the corner like that, it's just a unique design and it also has its own window. So that way you do get a little bit of natural light in the closet with your LEDs uh, off. So uh, nice built-in shelves, nice and clean, modern look. Gotta love that design. All right, now let's take a look at the other bedroom. So guys, now that we're over here on the east side of the property, one of the great things about this room in particular is its size once again, and I think that it is larger because it hosts the corner here. You have two windows, one on that side, one on this side, and it just feels a lot more grand. For a guest bedroom, guys, this 
definitely exceeds expectations and I think this would probably be my favorite room of the house. Another walk-in closet is posted right over here. And once again, plenty of shelving, plenty of space for clothes. Walk-in closets are a standard, once again, with new constructions here in the Houston market, and this one delivers, so great job. Uh, before we get downstairs, I do wanna mention once again, this property is located just over in the Spring Branch area, about a 22 minute drive to downtown, the heart of downtown to be exact, and 3,300 square feet of space. This is an excellent usage of space. We're gonna go ahead and check out the downstairs now and show you the best part. All right guys, just off the foyer area, you have your own private hallway for the primary suite. And I mean, it is secluded, it's private. It is exactly what you would want for the king and queen of the home. Let's check this out. Tall ceilings, eight foot door, four windows, and a grand space for you to enjoy. This home is large and this master bedroom shows just that. This is great. This is big enough to have your king here or you can have it placed against that window if you like or those set of windows. And it's just extremely large. I think the openness of the home overall is a great vantage point. It is, it's a great selling point uh, here for this house and this property. Now, when you step over this way, you'll notice the Oasis style restroom. You have two vanities, one right here and one right there, a walk-in shower, which is grand. And I just love the way that this vanity speaks in unison with the rest of the bathroom. This is your makeup counter, great utilization of space. Everything is clean from the framelessness of the shower to the mirrors leading over here to your sink and everybody's favorite bathtub is one that is a standalone and this one certainly has it. Great fe feature window shining some natural light down on this and look at this water spout. I wanna get the detail of that. It actually comes out from the floor you notice that it's probably a little bit over three feet tall and it is a beauty. Nice modern design by the developer. Two thumbs up, I love it. So when you walk this way, before we get into one of the coolest closets you've ever seen, I do wanna point out the convenience of having, number one, your washer and dryer room here. It has a sink so you can wash clothes, you have anybody over that needs to utilize or get a stain out of a shirt, you have a sink here. They don't have to be embarrassed about joining the dinner party with that red wine stain. And you also have pantries, of course, your large cabinets right above your washer and dryer. I love the space here. Having it side by side is a great benefit. Um, I think it just allows you to have more space. Um, now. Coming back this way, your water closet is right here, and you also have a doorway just leading to a towel closet. Nice tall doors, nice ceilings, and of course natural light from that window in the water closet. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, I present to you the ultimate closet. Guys, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous closet. The developer did a phenomenal job and look at all of the storage space. I think I'm gonna have to do a, a hashtag, hashtag holy moly closet. And this is gonna be the first thing that pops up. This closet has one, two, three levels on this side and one, two, three levels on this side, of course, built-in shelves, a ton of space here with these drawers. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six. What is that, five and three, 15 drawers, guys, and two great windows right here bringing some natural light in. What an awesome part of the home. This is great. You'll never run out of storage for your clothes in this space. The utilization of the space, uh, all 10, 10 out of 10. This is a great design by the developer. Now, 
Before we leave this closet, I do wanna mention it is conveniently placed just right here in connection with a couple of things. Remember, we covered the washroom right next door and we have the, wa um, the actual restroom right behind us. So everything is coped together, which is a great design. It's thoughtful. It is a great feature for this home. All right, guys, now before we wrap up this tour, the greatest thing about a Texas size home is a Texas size yard. Let's check it out. This backyard oasis is perfect and it is just what you want if you are looking to move to Houston. Great space, big enough for a pool and also an extra set of yard uh, activities, amenities that you could place back here. Of course, children's playground, different things like that. I love it. And one of my favorite parts is the fence. Nice, clean, tall. I think each side of this fence post is right at about nine feet, which is a great deal for privacy. Then you also have this open space, covered patio back here. Great for some patio furniture, grill offset plugs, television, all of that. This is what I call a backyard. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this Trey Finds Texas tour. This sums up our tour today. As always, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and ring the bell for us. Drop us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to give a special shout out to the listing agent of this property, Healy Alley. Until next time, we'll see you then.